hi welcome back to my youtube channel i am the fissy of glam by fissy and if you are just stopping by for the first time you're welcome you're welcome make sure to subscribe and be a part of the family today's video i'm going to be preparing a nigerian bride you know the typical yoruba bride gilly makeup transformation yeah if you want to find out what the look looks like what's that at the end of this video please make sure to keep watching so yeah i already hydrated her skin by spraying it with that um, setting spray from the beginning now i'm going in with the omari code and brega moisturizer i'm just moisturizing her face to keep her skin hydrated as possible i am going to list all the products that i use in the description box below so if you want to try them out you can always try them out then i'm going to be using foundation from l'oreal l'oreal yes l'oreal I, I can't remember the shade but then i mixed l'oreal and maybelline fits me so I mix them together. If you are a follower, if you are a day one on this channel, you know I always mix my foundations. Then I'm going to go in with my damn beauty sponge to press the product in. I always like to start from one side of the face so then I can walk my way into the other side of the face. Because sometimes you just mix foundations wrongly and you want to clean it off. Makeup is expensive. You don't want to make a mistake. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to press that into her skin. Make sure it's as close to her skin shade as possible. This skin shade, her uh, complexion rather, as possible. Then to highlight, I wanted to, I was going for a really bright under eye. You know, she's the bright now. She has to look very different, very thick tint. So I wanted a very bright under eye. And we're not going for any nude, nude subtle look. Maybe one of these days I'll do a very nude bridal makeup um, tutorial so i i didn't want it to be too bright as much as i wanted it to be bright i wanted the edges of her face sorry underneath the eyes to be as blended into her skin as possible i didn't want it to be too i don't know how to explain what i wanted but i'm just going to be going in with a different shade of concealer to highlight the sides of her face you know, like the sides just underneath the eyes but then towards the end of the place i'll normally highlight yeah so I think I used Elegantly Nude for that and the Zara Concealer, I don't know the shade. So far, contour, I went in really, really mildly because I knew I was still going to use um, powder contour and I didn't want it to be too pronounced. So I can't remember what I used. I think I used the L'Oreal True Match foundation in C2 or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to put it in the description box below. So I'm going to start blending from the edge and work my way into the brows and into the sides of her nose okay so this is just the abrupt version it took more time than this don't go and apply this much concealer underneath your eyes and expect it to have it um, blended out properly like two minutes it took way more time than this i just made sure to blend it underneath our brows because i was thinking about concealer there anyway and i wanted that part to pop take your time to press the product in and pat it in no ash lines no lines of demarcation god it took ages at the point i was like why did i why did i why did i go for this kind of look it took so much time flipped my beauty sponge and used the um bottom part to blend out the edges just to make everything blend seamlessly and for nose contour i went in with a small angled brush from i don't know where the brush is from and i applied the same shade i used for contour to snatch her nose now i'm setting underneath her eyes with the sacha buttercup setting powder in light at this point i'm not even sure if sasha buttercup comes in shades but i think it does because i have a dark one so let's say i use the sasha buttercup setting powder in light for our under eye area i'm just going to press this into her skin to soak up all the excess um dewiness and oil and just to make sure that the under eye is as matte as possible to avoid to avoid yeah my yoruba accent wanted to enter to avoid Creasing. Of course, by now you should know I'm just only going to set the areas that I highlighted. So after this process, the next thing I always normally, 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 normally do is going with a powder shade that is at least two to three shades lighter than an under eye area. I was using the Lady Beauty palette. You know that's my go-to palette anytime, any day. I was using this to set the same way, just just to further mattify underneath the eyes soak up and throw away all the excess oil from the foundation and concealer 
Now I'm going into our powder shade, our exact powder shade to set all the areas that I didn't highlight because we can't have the whole face looking all white now. We have to reseed some areas so that some areas will pop. Okay, some parts are meant to be receded, while some parts are meant to pop. That's what I'm doing here, guys. I'm setting with the actual skin powder. I'm also showing the neck some love. You want to show your neck some good, 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 good love. After this, I'm going to spray her face to allow everything to sink in. I don't know why it didn't show. So I went in with the Davis pencil. If you are in Nigeria, you should know this pencil. And if you are in Africa, I think you should know this pencil too. I think it's available in Kenya and South Africa and a number of other places. This pencil is the truth. I have used it. I'm going to continue to use it. I just love the pencil, like it's the most affordable pencil that I know that does the work. So I just drew a line as always underneath our brows. I brush the hairs up with my spoolie or mask mascara wand. Anyhow you like to call it, then I'm I also went in to draw a line on top of our brows just to follow the form and shape of our brows and make it more pronounced. You know now, just carve the brows. I actually didn't clean our brows because they were properly um she carved when she came in so i went in into my beauty lab by diddy eyebrow gel to put the brows in place to put the hairs in place so i went in from falling or sleeping you know what i'm saying so i went in with that same <laughs> why did i say no i'm saying <laughs> i went in with that same concealer i used for underneath her eyes early girl concealer in nude then i went in for the beginning and end of her brows i used the same foundation i used for our under eye area i'm just going to use that same and foundation to highlight underneath our brows so this just helps me to blend more seamlessly and it would have been very very difficult if i had gone all the way with the same concealer i used in the brow bone area it's very difficult to blend it out so i'm just going to press the excess foundation into our skin and spread it all over our eyelids yay it's time to bake my emphasis open get your fan bring your ac closer it's about to get hot in here okay so to bake on the eye area i i used the sasha butter cup yes the same um certain powder i used i used it again i'm just going to pack it in large quantity pack a lot and put it under the eyes to catch out eyeshadow fallout and the likes i'm also going to apply some more underneath our cheekbones i didn't do that with wet eyelids because it's so unnecessary i don't know why people do that people have time so so in case you didn't see that i also applied powder as the base of the eyeshadow i did but that's going with um primer because there was a lot of concealer there and i didn't want the product to be breaking so i made a mistake here when i started doing these eyes i was applying pigment with my brush i don't know what was going on in my head though i don't even know but then i was doing it and it came out horribly i had to do that green i had to apply the green off camera because i was trying to figure it out then i went in with the outer v color i went in with this brown shade from my blossom palette and this orange shade to just like blend out the brown i didn't like the way the look was lo were looking i don't know why i keep saying look was looking but then it was giving me one nigerian nigerian flag vibe which i did not want why would i want that so i went in with another pigment from candy beauty i think yes and i think it looked better after I, I changed it from silver to gold i went on to add blush why was that part so fast and then i lined the lower eye liner sorry i lined that lower water line i don't know why i said it and now i'm applying these lashes from lady v beauty in the shade slay babe i i'm very sure about this shade because i absolutely love this why did i say shade i absolutely love this style i'm saying a lot of things wrongly and for our lips i went in with the eye magic palette that palette has been my go-to palette for a long time now because it just has all the colors i love subtle as it is and everything i really want to start doing a lot of different looks that are different from like my normal brown use orange use and nude new neutral looks i want to start doing a lot of colors so i really wanted something really really different with the lips yeah so i just lined that so it was not as so as it was not as dark as i thought it was going to come out i think i wanted like a burgundy but 
not like burgundy burgundy no like a light burgundy i'm confused i know so i went out by it with brown to like dipping it a little bit yeah but then this is how this is after mixing and mixing this is how it came out and i absolutely loved it i actually went back in to put a little bit of white in the middle of our mouth so i'm just um brushing off the excess powder from the baking process we are done baking now she's out of the oven and she's looking like a snack i don't know why i'm always the one that gets to hype my models up you guys don't do that for me in the comment section so i'm just going to spray 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 if you watch the beautician fashion chick you know what i say that so now for the glow process oh damn girl so i used the witcher glow palette first but i didn't like it because i just kept on adding and adding and adding and it was not like popping the way i wanted so i went back in with the get gorgeous technique i like that and oh damn girl damn girl yeah, I, I really like the effect I used to see makeup artists use more than one highlighter. I didn't understand why, but now I do. So I'm just going to spray her face one more time. I didn't do that on camera. And this is the final look, guys. This is the end of today's video, guys. I hope you love it. See you next time. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Tell me what exactly you like about this look. Leave me a comment. Follow me on my social media platforms. I love you guys too much. I love all 721 of you. Like, I keep a count. I love you guys too much. Bye, guys. I don't want to go. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. I love you.